This is Dolan ETV, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome into Pre Battle of Alberta edition Dolan ETV in the playoffs. Now, I believe this is like, honestly, I, I can't even go through the archives this far back at 9.30 at night to tell you if I did a video on this or not, but I feel like in 2020, we were pretty amped up that we were going to get a Battle of Alberta, right? In February 2020. And then everything happened and everything is as such and is what it is. Here we are in 2022. All that's happened. All that's pretty much gone by the wayside. We're back to normal here. And we get a chance to enjoy what has been a long time coming. I'm very much so looking forward to it. And I hope you are as well. Here on Dolan and TV, coverage ain't going to be much. I'll probably be screaming and shouting on YouTube if the Oilers win on uh, Friday night. If not, I'll probably be trying to take care of my friends Friday night so as they're not punching holes in their trailer walls. I don't know. Guys, it's the Battle of Alberta and some crazy things are about to happen here across the province. So I'm just prepared for the worst Friday night if the Oilers lose. And I'm prepared to give you the best of me if we end up winning Friday night. So that's just where we're sitting, right? You've kind of seen the past couple of months. I've kind of really tempered myself down. Really gone out and just been a low-key kind of guy. Just don't say too much. Don't open the gums. Talk when it's all over. And that said, that done, I'll be good. So... That's where I want to go, is the past two years have been a little, quite rough for a lot of folks. My past several years have been quite rough. And with that said, um, coming up, I mean, I'm starting to get a lot of people patting me on the back and saying good for me, and I'm not even there yet. Coming up two years sober now. It'll be two years sober August long weekend as of uh, this year. So, right, obviously that's a huge milestone for anyone. However, we're sitting here realizing that this is two years removed from almost from the playoff series in 2020 and all that fun stuff. And it's just, you know, 2021, I was not in a good place, right? I had just come off the rails and quit YouTube there. So this is as close to, if not an actual good place for me to be for a battle of Alberta in the playoffs, baby. I'm very much so looking forward to actually being able to sit down and enjoy this one. This one is going to mean a lot to me just based on where I am in my life. Right? Obviously, you know what? Win, lose, it doesn't matter to me at this point. Just the fact that I'm going to be able to sit here during this battle of Alberta, whether it be right here in the studio with my friends over the PlayStation party mic, or whether it be with my friends up in Rimby this weekend for games one and two, whether it be somehow I find tickets to either the Dome or Rogers Place, whatever I end up doing for this series, I'm going to actually be able to enjoy the hell out of it. And I am so very, very much looking forward to that because you know what? It's been a long time coming, right? It's been since 2017 that the Oilers have been in the second round. If you know anything about me back in 2017 on YouTube, most of my friends couldn't wait for me to shut up about YouTube. Sucks to be them. It took me a lot longer of a time than just quitting in 2017 to shut up about YouTube. But you know what? Back then, I had no support. Dolany TV was kind of an iffy thing at that point. Just started from Yak City Gaming. And you know what? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't this big thing that all my friends always want to talk to me about and always want to pump my tires a little bit about, right? It wasn't a feel-good thing. It was kind of like, dude, you're wasting your time. You're... You're looking like a goof, like, isn't that for kids? Like, grow up a little bit. You're in your 20s now. You shouldn't be playing on YouTube. That was the kind of vibe in 2017. Whereas right now, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. I see it every day in the comments section. If I don't post a video and it's been a while, somebody's out there, hey, you still doing this? Hey, looking forward to hopefully hearing from you. And that means the world to me that you guys keep coming back around and waiting to hear from me because there is still more to keep coming from me, obviously, as we're talking right now. But the fact of the matter is, in all this span of YouTube for me, dating back to 2014, this is the second time the Oilers have been in the playoffs in the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. This is the first time I have been right between here. It's the first time, obviously, I've... Well, I guess I was sober for three years in 2017 when I was live streaming. But this is the first time I've been in probably a good place work-wise. This... Uh, 
good place life-wise, good place friend-wise, right? Like all across the board here for this playoff series, it is just stars have aligned. And even with a loss, I think I'm going to have an absolute ball. And that said, right, I'm going to be up in Rimby playing ball this weekend, so I won't be live streaming the first two games. May, well, yeah, first two games, maybe, the, or I guess, may, we'll see what happens tomorrow night. I don't know, bro, if you know my schedule, you're doing better than me at this point. I just played my sixth straight day of ball. I played one, uh, two, five, eight, ten, t ten games of ball in the past six days. So, <laughs> guys have been living at the diamonds a little bit here as the Oilers and Flames have wrapped up their first rounds. So, on and on and on I could go, but we're going to sit down and hopefully tomorrow <laughs> sit down here, get on the party chat with the boys and actually enjoy a night of hockey at home and maybe live stream with you guys as well. I don't know. Somebody help me because I don't know at this point. But like I said, you know what? I'm in a good place right now. That's a good thing because you know what? This is the time to sit back and finally enjoy some hockey here on Dolany TV here as Oilers fans. If you see the camera kind of flickering, it's... uh. The sun going in between clouds with the rain and the lightning out there. Don't mind me. Nobody knows how to have a thunderstorm like southern Alberta. There's some good ones in Gold Lake. Don't kid me wrong, but southern Alberta knows how to do thunderstorms wickedly. <laughs> but that's really it for me, right? All I wanted to say is I'm here to enjoy it this year. I'm here to win or lose, sit down, and enjoy a playoff series with the Edmonton Oilers because of being in a good place because of doing what I have done for the past two years ish to try and get myself to a good place. Ladies and gentlemen, this has more or less been a thank you to you for sticking by me. And this is a hope that I can at least provide you kind of similar to how we did it with the Kings video on the phone, leaving the bar on Saturday night. I can at least provide you one, just blow out the excitement moment here on Dolany TV at some point this series. I'm Tyson, this is Stall on your TV. Ladies and gentlemen, you have yourself a great rest of your Tuesday night, evening, morning, whenever the heck you're watching this. And I'll catch you possibly tomorrow. Like I said, I, if you know my schedule, please somebody come write it on the whiteboard to my right because <laughs> I don't got a clue, man. I'm up on out of here. <laughs>